been two days since Jeff Adachi died at the age of 59, and I can now report he sought treatment from two doctors in December during the last trial he would ever work. Chief attorney in the San Francisco Public Defender's Office, Matt Gonzalez, is now in charge after Jeff Adachi passed away Friday. Gonzalez tells me Adachi sought treatment for a persistent cough during his last trial in December. His primary care physician referred him to a specialist who ran a battery of tests. We don't know the type of specialist or the test results tonight. Paramedics found Adachi unresponsive in this Telegraph Place apartment near Coit Tower. A woman identified only as Katerina called 911 at 541 p.m. Friday. Paramedics arrived within 10 minutes, started CPR, and transported Adachi to California Pacific Medical Center, where he was pronounced dead at 6.54 p.m. The police report obtained by the I-team says medical personnel left Katerina in the apartment. She was all alone in what police later considered to be a possible crime scene. Police sources tell me officers are now upset they were dispatched three hours after the 911 call. By then, Katerina was gone. She has not been questioned by police about what happened that night. I reached a realtor for Sotheby's San Francisco, Susie Kurtz, a key witness in this investigation, also a Dachi's close friend. He's been a big part of my life for the last, I would say, the last few years. Um, and platonic. Absolutely platonic. Kurtz told police and me that she gave keys to the apartment to Adachi, who was excited about his friend Katerina coming from out of town. Kurtz says Katerina told her Adachi complained about stomach pains at a nearby restaurant. They took an Uber to the apartment, and he then became unresponsive. Well, she was hysterical, and she said, Susie, 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 um, something's wrong with Jeff. Please come, please, please, I don't know what to do. Police took these photos Friday night. The apartment interior, an unmade bed, empty alcohol bottles, cannabis gummies. But the pictures apparently weren't good enough. They asked the building owner for permission to go back Saturday. He refused. So they had to wait for a search warrant, breaking down the door early today to take additional pictures. Many questions to be answered. Police want to find Katerina. They don't even know her last name. The autopsy was performed today, and along with blood tests, they may finally tell us why and how Jeff Adachi died. So many of his supporters and his detractors want to know what happened to him.